It's a bit unpredictable, of course, but you just go with the flow. It's such a long race, and you just have to make sure you make the right decisions. I like the wet, so I'm not uh, I'm not worried about it. I've been counting shadows to the beach. How the radio I feel. I'm really excited. It's always nice to start a 24 hour race, especially if you're a star driver. I'm really looking forward to it, and let's let's have a clean, clean first five laps. Running okay. Car is, is not mega, but I know more or less how to save the tires because it's very critical the Pirelli now. And uh, yeah, let's see. The start was quite good. I uh, improved some positions. I don't know which, how many places, but I think four or five. Uh, but then in, uh, I would say after 30 minutes, uh, we struggled a bit with the tire pressure. Went a bit too high, so we, did, we made a decision that we can come in a bit earlier. Because I had a lot of understeer and the pressure went too high, so we did a, a shortcut and yeah, now we check it, what's going on for the next ones. I started my stint under full course yellow and it ended with another one and then I had a normal spa stint in between where we just fought through lap one to lap last and uh, there were so many close calls. There was one full course yellow without the warning so there was almost a massive pile up which I avoided by maybe two centimeters and uh, fighting for position, fighting with cars to be lapped and uh, one car I passed on the grass, you know the usual spa stuff. That's not too bad, I have to say. Um, towards the end, like the last third or the last quarter into the stint, our car is difficult to drive. We get a lot of oversteer. I mean, Christian already told me before and he said, made be aware of it. So I knew. 